Hi, welcome to Inside Yachting. This is Market Watch Wednesday. Now, if you're a regular watcher of the Inside Yachting videos, you'll notice that you haven't seen anything new from us for a couple of weeks, and this is for a very good reason. We've been extraordinarily busy with representing our clients who list the boats um, with us and also with new clients that are um, after our expertise and, and representation in buying new boats. Now, our clients that are with us have just about everyone either has their boat under contract or is close to. So we're breaking all of the industry averages as far as time to get the boat sold from the time that they list us. And we're also helping all of our new guys get some great deals on some new boats. So this is all of the yachts that have come on the market over the last seven days. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you can contact me direct at philip.bell at insideyachting.com or you can get yourselves over to the website insideyachting.com and you can contact us through there. We have full brochures ready to go for each and every one of these boats. So if you'd like to see any more information, then just uh, get yourselves over to the website and you can contact us via the contact us button. So let's get started. We've had almost 50 boats come on the market so far this week. So it's been a very, very busy week for new listings to the market as well. So first we have here a Sakara 5. Now this has been on the market before. Um, this is a, a Nobus crew, which is a German build, has six staterooms for 12 guests, 223 feet long, launched in 2010. Our boat's in Saint-Tropez at the moment. Swan, we've also seen this. This is a 196 Benetti, six staterooms, launched in 2011. Has that dark colored hull. A few of the Benettis um, that are newer to the market have that dark colored hull. Uh, the other one being a Checkmate, which we did a, a review of. This is asking uh, just under $50 million uh, the last one, Sakara, that was asking just under, uh, just over $93 million. It's actually huge interior volume and a great pedigree boat, uh, Sakara 5 is. Ulysses, another Benetti with a dark colored hull. This one was launched in 2012. It's a 184. Uh, they're asking just over $50 million. Has a six stateroom layout. Um, this one is over in Montenegro, which is a beautiful area of the world if you've never been there. I was just there uh, last summer. TJ Esperanza, this is one of the Kiss the Sky series. There was Kiss the Sky, um, a boat called Kismet, uh, sorry, Kermit, which is now called, um, it, it, it escapes me what it, what the name change was, but the, the window layout to this didn't quite meet a lot of people's tastes there. Uh, some round windows, square windows, oblong shaped windows. It's just a bit of a funky, um, bit of a funky profile, but a great interior volume for a 164 foot boat, much larger than you'd get with like the Trinities. So this has six staterooms. Um, it's over in Golf Juan in France. It was launched in 1999, big refit in 2014. They are asking uh, just under $20 million. Azteca 2, this is a Nerdis 164. Uh, they're asking $20 million. It was built in 2005, had a big refit in 2013. A boat's down in Mexico right now that has the six stateroom layout. Sicara 4, yes, it is the same owner as Sicara 5. This is a beautiful classic burger. Not a huge interior volume, only four staterooms, but a very beautiful classic motor yacht. Launched in 2009, it has. Um, uh, the four staterooms, like I say, it's 151 feet long. This is definitely a custom build for that owner. Um, $37 million is the ask. Life, which is the ex Saramore. This is a CRN, another um, Italian build, very large interior volumes. Has five staterooms. It's in uh, La Spezia in Italy at the moment. Um, 151 feet long, launched in 2005. They're asking just under $19 million. This is a Eurocraft, great um, aft cockpit on this. Uh, once you request the, the brochure for any of these, you'll be able to see all of the, the photographs, the detailed descriptions, the specifications for all of these boats. This is quite an, an interesting one to look through just because it's so different. Uh, Eurocraft, five staterooms, launched in 2014. Um, it is priced at just over $21 million. It's over in Monaco at the moment. 
Ligaya, this is an Ocean Pacifico asking right around $5 million. Launched in 2002, had a refit in 2009. Doesn't really have the pedigree, but a uh, huge volume for the price there. It's 100, 125 feet long. Uh, the boat's in Spain at the moment, so um, a lot of bang for the buck there. G Wiz, uh, this is a 108 Brooks yacht. Very, very old girl, very high powered, uh, like the, the old Hatterases that used to have three uh, main engines in there. It's kind of antiquated now, but um, $1.8 million is the ask. It's over in France at the moment, has a huge high powered MTU engines in there. Four staterooms, all the staterooms are relatively small. The whole shape to this, as you can see on the profile picture there, the bow is, is very uh, sharp. So it's not large interior volumes on, on this one. Uh, launched in 89, refit in 2012. Sunseeker Predator, this is their 108, uh, launched in 2004, another boat in Montenegro, asking $2.4 million. Four stateroom layout, that's actually a pretty good price for, uh, for that boat for a 2004, most of them are high $2 million. Hawkeye, this is an enclosed bridge Ocean Alexander, uh, doesn't need any introduction, these are very popular boats. Ocean Alexander was just bought by Marine Max, so it'll be interesting to see um, the development of that brand. Uh, this has three staterooms, uh, just under $5 million, launched in 2010. Uh, the boat's over in Washington at the moment. Lady Catherine, this is a Sunbird, launched in 2008. I personally don't really uh, know the brand Sunbird. I would pro probably relate that to why the asking price is so low, 950 thousand dollars for a 2008 is obviously well below average market prices the boats over in thailand um, has a volvo penta engines the boats perhaps a little bit big for the volvo engines i would prefer to see um, mans in there or the cats but a nice boat for for the money four stateroom layout libra doro now i'll probably do a review of this this is an 80 foot azimuth priced well below um, the others that are on the market, all the others are priced around $1.2 million and above, and quite a few of them are in pretty bad condition. So this is $950,000, launched in 2003. It's in great condition on the interior. The only problem is it's in uh, Curacao, so it's a little bit further to travel, but um, there's a possibility that it's gonna come up here to the US. Four staterooms, um, standard, from, uh, standard from Azimut there. Sonodar, this is a Fairline. This is a large Fairline launched in 2009. It's uh, 1.8 is the ask. It's over in the UK. Fairline Squadron is the, is the manufacturer. Um, average on the build quality, I'd say, but uh, nice interior features. Mr. Jack, this is a Tamsin Yachts. Uh, this is a Dutch build. Now, Tamsin started to build these 80s and then realized quite quickly after they built the first four or five hulls that they couldn't actually um, make much of a profit with the quality that they were putting into these boats. So the interior fit and finish is very, very high quality. All the um, electronics are very high quality as well. So if you're looking for something that is above the average, then this is a good one to, to see. Just over $2 million is the ask, launched in 2011. I'll probably do a review on this one as well. Uh, the boat's over in Sardinia at the moment. Miss Suga, this is a queen ship, quite popular over here, 2004. Uh, it's a 76 and asking $1.39 million. Three stateroom layout, um, nice large interior volumes there. We've got almost 50 boats to go through, so I'm gonna rush through these now. Um, this is a Della Pitta, not really much uh, pedigree as far as the build is concerned. Um, price maybe a, a tad high, but they're similar boat to the Mangustas and, and trying to keep up with that, um, with that uh, asking price there. So $1.7 million, 75 feet long, launched in 2009. Has a nice four stateroom layout, but prep doesn't have the, uh, the pedigree. Name Dropper, we've seen this a couple of times before, go between various manufacturers. It's built by Riva, which doesn't have a huge following over here in this size range. Now they're smaller boats, the Aqua Armors, the Aqua Rivas are very, very popular, the, the sort of runabout boats, but these not so much. Laws in 2011, 
um, asking just under four million dollars. It's here in Fort Lauderdale. Nice four stateroom layout. Lots of windows to this um, to this boat, uh, but a very European design. Deborah One. This is a Ferretti, seventy four feet long, launched in two thousand and six it's uh refit in 2014 nice asking price 1.6 million dollars it's over in san remo at the moment in italy uh four stateroom layout valkyrie we've also seen this before this is a burger uh 72 feet long three staterooms asking 895 thousand dollars launched in 1988 so a very classic boat there but great uh, quality with with burger um, and that boat is over in uh, Hope Sound in, in Florida as well. Small World, another burger, three stateroom layout in here in Florida, 72 feet long, launched in 1976, and they're asking 645,000. It's not quite the flush deck, it has that um, flybridge section over to the top. Remember, I did that review of uh, Bonaparte, which is probably the best one that's on the market. Foolish Pleasure, this is a 70 foot uh, Unices. Uh, don't, again, don't have a huge following over here. This one is in Florida, four stateroom layout, launched in 2001, asking 795,000. Scooter, 66 foot Viking Sportfish, this is the enclosed version, 3.9 mil, it's here in Jupiter. Um, this Caravelle, this is a Caramarine, really no pedigree at all. It's over in the, the UK, an old boat. You don't really see any of these come on, but very cheap asking price there, 400,000. Eagle Eye, Tollycraft, we see a few of these over here in the States, mostly over on the West Coast. This one's over in Washington, 61 feet long, three stateroom layout, asking under 500,000, so that's a great price there. BB Kingfisher, this is a, a, a older Bertram launched in 1991. Again, under 500,000, so great option there. It's here, uh, sorry, it's over in St. Lucia in the Caribbean. Uh, Bluegrass, Keddie Krogan. Now, Keddie Krogan, you see them a lot tied with Outer Reef. Um, about the same quality, the Krogans tend to be the smaller end of the market, whereas the Outer Reefs are trying their best to get themselves over 100 feet. This is 58 foot long, asking $1.299 million. Uh, three stateroom layout, and it is over a Hilton Head, I, I believe. I launched in 2005, it's a, a great pedigree there. Alpha Dogs is a navigator, we see a few of these. Um, this is in Highland Beach in Florida. 56 feet long, launched in 2003, asking under 400,000. Oceans yachts. I don't really rate these guys too much for for sport fish. Just the quality isn't really there, which explains that asking price of under three hundred fifty thousand. Viking sport fish. This is a convertible. This is a new boat, um, so they don't give you the price there. So I'll flick over, flick over that one. An older Hatteras, nineteen eighty nine. Great price again, under three hundred twenty thousand. Hatteras three stateroom layout. Uh, Hatteras tend to have a larger interior volume than the Vikings do for those two main sort of production sport fish boats. Um, and that boat's over in Michigan at the moment. Formidable, an old Sea Ray asking 200,000. It's here in Fort Lauderdale, a, a, a nice cheap boat there. It's 1999, um, two stateroom layout. Backstabber Hatteras 54. Uh, three stateroom layout, very similar to the last one launched in 1999. That's under 500,000 again. QTR and Oceans, 200,000, 1997. That was launched over in Palm Beach. Uh, Riviera, probably about the same quality as the Oceans, um, launched in 2007. Explains that low asking price, under a million bucks for a 2007. That's pretty good. Um, enclosed Bridge. Doesn't seem to have the uh, the outriggers there, um, but uh, get that um, get that yacht pack and or get the brochure, and it'll have all the photographs in. That one's actually over in Singapore, so that might explain why. Another Riviera. This one's here in Florida, launched in two thousand and six, four hundred twenty nine thousand dollars. Very very cheap asking price there. Uh, two stateroom layout. Great one to get the brochure for and see what they're all about. Marine Trader, don't really see any of these. Uh, this one's here in Florida, very awkward looking profile. Um, 100 grand, what, what, what more do you want? Sea Ray Blueberry, this one launched in 2006. 
um, asking $379,000. It's here in Florida, um, in L Little Venice. Uh, two stateroom layout, nice day boat there, nice cheap day boat. Formula, 47 feet, launched in 2004, under 300,000, this is over in clear water. They actually have a lot of uh, interior volume within that lower space as well. Uh, Poppy McClay, this is a Sabre yacht. Now, these have really increased in volume over the last um, couple of years. They got into that similar design as the Grand Banks East Bays and, and really just took it to the next level. So great manufacturer here with a good following. So this is a 47 feet. This is their Flybridge version. Asking 389,000, launched in 2000. Um, so a, a great option there. It's small to have a Flybridge, but they do make a good, um, a, a good boat their the final product is is very good lady anne this is a grand banks actually very similar to to poppy mcclay this is their flybridge version of the uh, east bay boat so this has two state rooms it's here in florida as well um, asking seven hundred and forty nine thousand launched in 2006. last few now this is tailgater sea ray um, this is their sedan version launched in 1999. It's 45 feet long, has a three stateroom layout. So it's a great option for high occupancy there. Um, the boat is over in Arkansas. Don't get many boats over there at all, um, but great asking price at uh, just over $150,000. So you can't really go wrong with that one. Montefino, this is one of the boats that I did a review on a long, long time ago. We actually did a walkthrough of, of one of these uh, Monte Carlos. So this is their 45 version. I think it was the uh, 55 or, or the, uh, the 75 that, that we did the walkthrough of. Uh, four stateroom layout. That was the same with the one that I did the walkthrough. It had a five stateroom, but large, large cabins and lots of occupancy for the overall size so for a 45 foot boat to have four cabins that's quite amazing it's over in maryland asking 725,000, and this is basically a new boat so great one to take a look at there adventurous this is a sea ray launched in 2000 asking 234,000 dollars perhaps a hair overpriced when you compare it to the last one that we saw in arkansas three stateroom layout um and uh, that one's here in uh, Florida as well. So the last but not least, another Sea Ray launched in 2002, three stateroom layout. This is the same, but a much better asking price. It's uh, $199,000 here in Stewart in Florida, uh, but two years younger than Adventurous. So you can see that the previous one was a little bit overpriced. So that's it. Uh, well done we made it through uh, lots and lots of boats like I said come on the market over the last seven days we have brochures for all of these and every boat that's currently for sale on the market as well as some that aren't on the market so get those brochures contact uh, me at philip.bell at insideryachting.com or contact me through the website get yourselves over there that's where you can find out all the uh, other information about um, boats that we've done reviews on and, and anything that's on the market. So thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.